The next step is to resize the stickers and then after that we will be duplicating. Okay, so to resize your sticker, you're going to click on one at a time. And then we're going to go over here on the right hand side and there is an icon for the scale. It is, um, let's see, so here's the text one and you just go three over on the right, right here. And that one's scale. And then from here you can either use the arrows or you can just type in the number. And I don't have um, an actual measurements on me, my planner on me. So I'm just going to make up a number and I'm going to say that I want my, um, let's see, that I want the height of my boxes to be one and a half inch. And so I'm, I hit one and a half here. And then you'll notice that it changes the width. And because I have the lock aspect um, check marked, which just means that it'll the proportions will stay the same. So if you change this to three inches, then the next one will be 2.3. So it'll always be um, in proportion. So I'm gonna go back to one and a half inch for the height, and then you just click apply, and then here you notice that it made it smaller. So I'm going to do this for each sticker. I'm going to make sure that each one is an inch and a half. Right, and then I'm just going to keep going here. And for this one, um, let's see, the height is different from that. That's why um, make sure to have the measurements for the width and the height depending on the type of sticker. So this weekend banner is usually the size of, um, or the width of two of these. So you're just going to look at here, so it's about 1.189, and that one's just a little, um, when I cut these out, I didn't make it precise this time just because this is for just practice, and you can just do that first if you just want to practice, or you can make sure that it's actually precise the first time, um, well, it's okay if it's just a little bit different, just 1.17, 1.18, it's really not that much of a difference. So for my weekend banner, I just want it to be double that amount. So I'm just going to say it's 2.4. I'll just make it that, make it a little bit bigger. So 2, or the width, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong one. So 2.4. And apply. So it looks like it is pretty much the same width as those two there. And so for these ones, they would be the same width or the same height as um, the other checklist. So we're going to go to 1.5 and we're going to just do this with each one here. All right, and then you notice for these ones, it's kind of, you kind of just have to make it up, I guess. Maybe you want it to be the same width as these, or a little bit bigger. So these ones are 0.2. I mean, yeah, you can just kind of make these up. Maybe we'll make these half size, so the width will be 0.25. The ones that are most important for your sizes are probably these check boxes here and these ones, but these can just be anything you want them to be. All right, we're just gonna keep going here. All right, and these ones will be the same width as the checklist. So I have these at, is that 1.18? So we're going to do 1.18 for these. And same thing for this one. And these two as well. These are also the same. And you just click apply after each one just to make sure that they um, that you've actually changed the the measurement of it. All right, so now that you have everything resized, now we're going to go into duplicating. 